The holiday season right around the corner, the Grand Junction Regional Airport and TSA put together a demonstration today of what can and cannot go through security. Yeah, believe it or not, you cannot pack your pistol on your carry-on, but you can bring it in your checked bag if it's packed right. KRX 5 News reporter Katrin Asap learned more about what you're not allowed to bring on an airplane. Katrin. Well, most people are probably aware that guns, knives, and other weapons are not allowed in your carry-on when flying. But did you know that ammunition has to be stored in a checked bag in order to travel? Or that rifle or long rifle armed cases might need multiple locks in order to pass through? The TSA gave us all the facts today so that you can travel safely this holiday season. With holidays creeping around the corner and airports facing their busiest time of year, the Travel Security Administration and Grand Junction Airport don't want you to make the same mistake these people did. Between hazmat and what they call this is VAP, a voluntary abandoned property, we, we collect about approximately 50 pounds a, a month. These are all confiscated items found by TSA in the past month. Things like hunting knives, pepper spray, and even a hairbrush. This looks like a regular brush, but you pull it open and it becomes a very nasty gadget there. Some items like these are okay in checked baggage, but taking them on the plane yourself is a big security breach. And nothing is more dangerous than a loaded gun left in a carry-on. Unfortunately, this problem is a common one. In 2017, we had 17% more firearms brought to checkpoints nationwide than in the previous year. And I think uh, this year we're already up to over 3,500. In order to avoid having a prized possession confiscated, here's what you can do. First, make sure the firearm is unloaded and put in a case. It'll go through. If you look here, you have a hole in the case. And once that's in there and it's secured, this firearm is good to go. The case must be locked and larger firearm containers might need multiple locks. If it has a key, all four of these must be locked, okay? Ammunition must also be stored away in a safe container and checked. And as long as it's in original package or a hard-sided case, then it can go. Both must be packed in checked baggage and ticket sales representatives must be alerted that you are checking a firearm. And if you have a question about what can and cannot fly, the TSA is happy to answer any questions you have before you get to the airport. You can actually snap a picture of an item, tweet it to at AskTSA, and you'll get a response in real time. More information on what is and isn't allowed can be found on TSA.gov. And remember that if you are concerned about a certain item flying, tweet a picture of it to the TSA before you get to the airport, and they can let you know if it's good to go. First on the Western Slope, I'm Katrin Asaf reporting for CARIAX 5 News.